Hello, experienced tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Pool of Radiance with me, Blue Ankylo. In our last episode, we found some treasure in the slums and got to do some leveling up and learned about gems and magic items and all that good stuff. And uh, today, we're uh, we're going to continue our slumming adventure. Uh, I pre-traveled to where we basically left off to save some time, and um, before we go any further, I want to show you... Well, for one, Fella is already ready to level up. I just had a one random encounter and he was ready for level 3. He's going to have to wait because uh, I'm not going back. Uh, we'll level him up when we get back to town. Um, just so you know, the way uh, carryover experience works is you don't lose any experience if you keep le if you keep fighting after your, your level. So uh, a level 3 cleric takes 3,000 experience. And if we switch over to one of our charts here... Um, I think the journal is the one with the charts at the bottom, right? Uh, it will show us... Maybe? Yeah, there it was. Uh, a level 3 cleric takes 3,000. Um, if we don't train him, like he's still level 2 technically, as long as he doesn't get more than the next level's max, like two levels ahead basically, he doesn't lose any experience. Once he gets more than 6,000 experience, then when we train him to level 3, he would... He would have like 5,999 and he'd lose anything above that, basically. So, um, you don't want to not level up your characters for very long, but a while is fine. And if that's what you're wondering, that's the way it worked. Now, uh, a couple other things is I looked up uh, the hit die for the various characters. Uh, I was incorrect. A cleric gets a d8, so a 1 to 8 plus their constitution roll. So, for Fella. Max HP would have been his old HP of 10, plus a roll of 8, plus 2, because he is not a fighter for a constitution bonus. A fighter, on the other hand, which is almost everyone else in the party, um, their max roll would be, well, for a fighter level up. It, the multi-class is confusing. We'll get over that. We'll go over that when we get there. But for Earth Darkness, his maximum roll would have been a D10, plus 4. So he could have gained 14 HP if he had perfect. I don't think I gave him 14 HP. He started with 14. I gave him plus 10, which is actually a roll of 6 for him, which, you know, that's my point. I'm going to try not to cheese it too horribly. I don't think we need max HP, unless you're the mage. Mystic of Ba might have the uh, divine help on his side, but everybody else is going to have to deal with it. Multi-classes are a little bit, a little bit complicated, and we'll, we'll get into that when I need to. Uh, so Fella, I gave him two Cure Light Wounds and a Detect Magic, so someone, basically both clerics will have one Detect Magic for now, and Fella is better at uh, the healing part, and Mystic of Bob will just have two Sleep Spells for now, uh, because that seems to be the most effective spell. Magic Missile is good, but I think early game sleep is going to be better. So let's, uh, let's head down here, we haven't been through this door yet, I don't think, although we've been in that room. Uh, let's see what's in this little, uh, oops, that's not where I meant to go. I meant to go here. Let's see what's in these little nooks and crannies here. Apparently it's locked. Everything's locked. I should just leave Alucard in, uh, front. We actually picked our way through that door. That was the first time it's happened. A large orc raises his head and snarls, How dare you break into our home? Um, apparently they're living here. Also, we get some new enemies. Um, I don't think we've seen these before, right? Orc leaders. I guess they probably have bows? There's a lot of orcs here, wow. Alright. So, um... Alucard... Could cast sleep. I think I'm gonna do some sleeping here. I'm not gonna sleep, but I want them to sleep. You, you put a bunch of them to sleep. Casting magic in melee range isn't the safest thing, but, uh... There we go. Oh, and uh, there's something fun. I, I noticed it on my fight over, uh, on a couple random battles on my way over. I forgot about how amazing having a high-leveled fighter is against lower-leveled enemies. Some of you probably know about this already, but uh, some of you may not have seen it before. It's uh, pretty good. It's pretty good stuff. I don't think it's going to work on orcs if they're considered level 2. But uh, level 1 enemies uh, aren't going to do very well against uh, Earth Darkness right now. Uh, let's view, items, ready, ready. Sometimes I feel like switching over to ranged weapons is a waste of your valuable time, but uh, we'll see. Not quite. Okay, move up, move over, move over, attack that guy, good. 
Now you can actually get into the fight. And we'll equip you back with your proper weapons. And try to kill the guy to your right. Try. Because we're going to have a lot of enemies on the left side here. Okay. Good job, Earth Darkness. And fella, you are the healer, so for now we'll give you a, you know, back row spot. Let's get rid of this guy out of the way, mostly, more than anything. Now, it, it would be a decent idea to cast uh, Sleep again here, but I'm going to try to preserve some of our spells for later. Kill the guys in the back first, so that they block up the, uh, the attack for anybody else. Come on, you guys. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Alright, Earth Darkness. No, it's, these guys are, are probably level 2. Maybe you... Well, actually, interestingly enough, a dart only does 1 to 4 damage. So there's basically no way for Mystic of Ba to one-shot these guys. All you can do is finish off weakened ones. So leaving these two guys helpless here is actually really, really a good idea, I think. All right, there we go. Got the kill. So fella moves up. Well, now we're going to start clearing this out, basically. I wouldn't be surprised if these guys start to run away pretty soon. Eh, we'll leave one helpless guy up front. Uh, unfortunately, Christina, we've got to switch you over. Good news is, you've got a plus one bow, which means you're a little bit better at uh, actually hitting stuff. As we can see! Well, you didn't do a ton of damage on the second one, but I'll take it. A little bit dangerous there. Elric can handle it, though. Trying to open up a spot for someone else, basically. Yeah. View items. As much as ranged weapons are nice, I really don't like having to restock on ammunition right now. So. That's fine. And for now, actually, Mystic can just hang out. Save his darts. I bought some darts off camera in case you're wondering. There we go. And they surrendered. Okay. Good fight, everybody. Good fight. Lots of experience, actually. Really nice. Looks like fighting orcs is the way to go. Elric took a bit of damage, apparently. I wasn't paying very good attention, but... Uh, oops, I just shared all the money. I didn't actually check how much we found. It's good to get it. And, uh... I wouldn't be... Because I think this was a not a random battle. They had a, some speech. Let's, uh, let's try some detect. And we got lots of magic stuff, actually. That's cool. Awesome. So... We're going to let Earth Darkness carry the magic stuff because uh, he's, well, he's, he's, I don't know. I, it's what I want to do, guys. That's what I want to do. It looks like we're going to have a new flail for McGubbins, though. Um, in fact, I mean, a lot of this stuff I can just equip and find out how good it is. So trade over to McGubbins. I believe he can use flails, right? I'm not, I'm not crazy here. Yeah, he's currently got a flail. So... He currently does uh, a 19 Thacko. Uh, so yeah, clerics, by the way, don't get a minus one Thacko per level up. Fighters get a minus one basically every level up. The rest of the, the classes take multiple. Like, it's, it's a couple levels before um, they'll get minus one Thacko. So anyway, 19 and plus three. And then if we switch this over, 18 and plus four. That's definitely a flail plus one. Congratulations, fellow McGebbin. You get the first magic weapon. Although, um... Uh, the broadswords are probably plus one as well. It might be worth switching over from the tridents. I don't know. 16 Thacko with plus seven damage. Actually, 1d6 as well is good to note. So, view items. Unequip that. Equip a broadsword. Yeah, minus, or plus one to Thacko, minus one. However you want to think about it. And uh, plus one damage. So, you know... I know I've been liking these tridents, but uh, we just found a bunch of better weapons for everybody, basically. We might as well pimp everyone out. Uh, at least everyone except Elric, sorry. Elric will get one later on. 
View items. So, like, you know, buying all those fancy weapons early on, you know, I figured we'd start getting magic weapons before very long. It's just the way it tends to go. Uh, view items. Unequip the trident, equip the broadsword. Alright, so Elric has no magic weapon yet, and uh, neither does Mystic of Bob, but it shouldn't take too long. And then the rest of the items are garbage. Good, job done. That was a good fight. Alright, next up, a little bit of healing. Cure Light Wounds on Elric. Fully healed, woohoo! In cap, save A, continue. Alright, good work team, we cleared out another den of debauchery basically. I guess we could look around, probably nothing. Nothing. Alright, room number eight. Seated at a table is a ragged old woman. She doesn't look that ragged. She greets you. Welcome. For the price of a few coppers, I will tell you your virgin. What do you do? We could attack her. I've heard uh, in the clue book that this is a bad idea to attack her, so we'll just pay her a couple bucks. Why not? The woman's hand make mystic passages while she mutters some words. Her voice undergoes a strange transformation. Blood and violence are writ boldly in your future. Look for friends where you expect enemies, and enemies where you expect allies. I, I assume she's doing like the Elmo voice, basically. The telling is finished. Let's let's get out of there. That was completely useless, as is most fortune telling. I'm sorry if you're a fan of fortunes. Uh, I don't believe in them. So anyway, um, let's just leave. We don't want to fight kobolds. Um, yeah, I've, I've, I've read in the clue book when I was just skimming through stuff that apparently if you attack her, the random encounters in this area get worse. So maybe not the best idea. Um, let's just keep sort of looking around. I assume this takes us to another area. See where it goes. I don't even know where we are, to be honest. The map is incorrect. Um, unless... No, it's a new area. I just don't know where we are. I don't want to go there right now. For now, for now, we'll stick with the slums. I don't want to risk fighting really, really dangerous enemies. Okay, kobolds, just leave me alone. I don't... Did they? I seriously ran? Well, that's not good. That time I ran away and they moved me halfway across the map. It's kind of annoying. Alright, maybe we can't run away because you actually, like, run away. You wander into the old hemp market. Oh, apparently there's a gang operating from behind the catacombs by the well and we're not allowed to go very... We're not allowed to know what else there's is going on. <laughs> That's the problem with the, the text scrolling. You'll have to pause and go back if you want to see what that was all about. <laughs> um, I don't know. Let's go to the west first. There can't be very much over here. You have surprised a party of orcs. Pretty sure it's just random. I They fled, so we didn't actually have to fight. Good. Bash. Guards rush to intercept you. Or run. Anyway, this is a, a scripted battle this time, so... Um... <laughs> Holy cow! What is this? How many rolls of four? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times four. Thirty-two orcs. Well, thirty, and then two orc leaders. Sheesh! Right, this is gonna be a battle and a half. Alright. Hope you guys are ready. One down. Two down. We're, we're doing good so far. Fella, you'll be fine. Good kill. We're actually off to a really good start. Um, how far can we cast sleep? If I could hit the leaders in the back, that would be the best. We are unable. Actually, that's perfect. We won't have to worry about ranged attacks if I cast it right here. That's good. Do it. At least for a few turns. You know, they'll eventually wake up. But that's actually... That's probably really good. And the rest of them behind them will be blocked, so... Success. This is... I get the feeling this is going to take a while. Not going to be the quickest battle ever. Fella McGubbins took a couple damage there, but I'm sure he's fine. I uh, tasked him with keeping the party healthy, and I trust him. Alright, Earth Darkness... Still, you miss. Okay. 
Um, let's use Elric spells, seeing as he doesn't have a whole lot of uh, options here. And I just want to double check. We cast up to the up to this guy. If I cast it here, yeah, that'll affect a whole bunch. Oops, wait a second. Manual. Did that? Could I not target that guy? Oh, maybe the level two. Yeah, you know what? I bet you your level as a magic user determines the range you can cast it at. All right. Well. It'll still be valuable to cast it here, even though it won't hit quite as many orcs. And assuming we can crush through the first row, uh, we'll be able to get a bunch of free kills. And perhaps even more importantly, anybody that's asleep, we don't have to worry about them... Uh, we don't have to worry about them taking an action which slows us down. But our plus one weapons are probably going to... Well, uh, you know, it's, it's, it'll make a difference. Assuming we could hit. I'm just going to let uh, our dart user get free kills, basically. Oh, that was a mistake. Sorry, Alucard. Almost got you hit there. Okay, well, we should be into the free kill zone for the most part. I think we're gonna slaughter these guys, basically. Oh, I should have, I should have had, uh, I should have let Christina kill that one. Oops. So we got to view items, and equip the broadsword, re and the shield. Equip the short bow. Ex exit aim manually. Yeah, these guys are they're so helpless. Let's uh, cut a path to the next group. What I should do is set people up on guard, but whatever. Stand on guard for thee! Some of you guys know what I mean. Uh, manual. Let's just hit. Can't hit the next roll of helpless units with uh, darts, basically. Ooh, Earth Darkness takes six damage from an orc. Well, there are a lot of them, so it's understandable. There we go. What I'd like to do here, seeing as you've got a bow, is kill these leaders before they wake up. One damage. That's a dart for you. Darts really aren't that good. Yeah. Come on, you guys. Someone's got to hit somebody. The bow taking out the helpless orcs though. Oh no! Elric! Don't die! That was a lot of damage. We'll just keep killing the helpless orcs with the bow for now. Alright, Elric! Yeah, you are... You are hurting. Um... I can't do a whole lot to help you right now, so you just gotta stay alive. Oh, they're surrendering. They're surrendering, guys. I think we got them. Whew. Yeah, we got them. Totally got them. Guess we'll have to do some healing after this battle. Oh, right. Wrong weapon. You're not allowed to use a melee attack with a bow. I don't know why not. Have you guys seen the arrow? He uses melee attacks with it all the time. Alright, Elric, you're safe up here. Totally safe. Even if these guys wake up, they're just gonna run away or surrender. All right, we are done. That was that was pretty tough. We actually only got ninety nine experience points. Garbage. Uh, do we get any good loot? Fair bit of silver and electrum. So share that. And I get the feeling that some of that might be magical. We'll use our last detect, I guess. No, was this a random encounter? Yet? No, this was not random, right? I can't remember. I don't think it was random. Take. Nothing is magical. It was probably just a random battle. Dang it, I forgot. No, because they were guarding this hallway. It was not a magic... It was not a random battle. We just... They didn't drop any good loot, that's all. Okay, we'll try to heal up. Elric, Elric, uh, once you get some levels up, you'll start getting a lot more HP. 
The people with in the teens HP is fine. They'll be safe. They'll be fine. Don't worry about those guys. I forgot to start my timer this time. I don't know how many minutes we've been going yet. Let's uh, try to finish off this section of the map. It looks like there's kind of a, a bottom area. Um, uh, you probably can't see my mouse very well over here, but... Um, there's kind of a southern area of the map that we uh, can only get through through door number 10. I'd like to finish up everything but that, if we can. So, uh, let's check out this doorway. You intrude on a gathering of monster leaders. Uh, I guess we're gonna fight. Oh, new monsters. We found a gnoll, a hobgoblin leader, and an ogre. Uh-oh. I hope we're okay here. Let's uh, consult the, the the book to see what an ogre and a gnolls are. So let's switch over to this. Journal. Somewhere near the top. Just for interest's sake. Okay. So a gnoll is a level 2 creature. Hyena-headed humanoids who stand over 7 feet tall. That's cool. And then an ogre. I mean, you guys... That's a level 4 creature, so he's probably the most dangerous. And then what else was there? Um, what else are these guys? Hobgoblin leaders. I think hobgoblins were level 2 as well. You can listen to the music. Yeah. Intelligent goblins, supposedly. Alright. Alright, music. I'm sorry, but we're going to have to give you a break. Oops. Forgot to reselect the right screen. Okay. Ogre is dangerous. Null is probably dangerous. Alucard. So what I'd like to do is have Earth Darkness and Fella in uh, range of the Ogre and keep the rest out of range if possible. That was the whole song. You got to hear the whole thing that time. What am I worrying about? We just killed the Null in one hit. Did I, did I even see how much HP they had? The Ogre has 20. The Null had 10. We just <laughs> crushed him in one shot. It's pretty good. Let's see if we can put them to sleep. I, uh, I'm i going to suspect that the, the Ogre will be immune to it. But uh, we've got a good spot here to affect all the remaining characters. We'll see what works. Okay, everything but the Ogre is asleep. I think, you know, we're doing pretty good. Okay, maybe these guys are going to be super, super easy. Elric, I know, uh... No, you're the lowest HP. Let's keep him out of melee range. Christina, you know, should be okay. Wow! We just took out that ogre? Well, I mean, there you go. I mean, I was expecting this to be a difficult battle. That was, uh... That was good! <laughs> good job, team! <laughs> That'll teach these guys. Now we're good. One spell? Just crushed them. So, unfortunately, I don't have any Detect Magics ready, so... I don't know. The Shoot. I doubt it's magical. I bet you each Hobgoblin uh, leader had a longsword and a longbow, so I'm going to ignore it. I, I mean, I might be missing something, but I don't expect I am. Alright, um, well, there's probably a couple more fights. Okay, let's try, uh... Before we, before we end the episode, I want to clear out like number twelve and thirteen on our our map there, if I can. Let's uh, try rememorizing a couple things and see if we can rest. This is not always easy to do because we can be interrupted here. Also, I'm going to test something out while I'm here. Exit, exit, yes. Memorize, exit, yes. Memorize, 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 exit, exit, yes. So what I'm going to click here, I don't even know if this is going to work, but I'm going to click store memorize spells from my gold box companion. And we're going to rest, see what happens. Okay, I was expecting to get interrupted, but seeing as we were not interrupted, we're fine. Now I'm going to use encamp fix, which is going to heal everyone up. As though we just did the same thing there over and over again for however many times it would have taken to do that. With only Cure Light Wounds, it takes a long time to heal people up. Alright, let's check out what's down this way. Surprised by Goblins. I think it's just a random battle. Boo! Alright, I'll finish this off off-camera and I'll meet you guys back uh, for the end of the episode to see what 12 and 13 are doing. Hopefully everyone will be fine. 
And we're back. So I just finished the battle. Went pretty smoothly. There was a lot of them, but, uh, you know, it wasn't that difficult. I'm trying to uh, start the... Uh, restart the recording and end the battles in the, the battle section rather than at the treasure section. Because you miss the experience screen for some reason when I start the battle. I think pressing any key skips this, so you miss out on how much experience we get. So, there you go. Anyway, we'll take the money. You know the, you know the drill with random encounters by now. Uh, I don't think the items are ever anything good. Unless you want some longbows. Alright, let's... Uh, well, encamp and save because that was a long battle. And... Uh, yeah, let's keep going. We want to get to the bottom here. I still don't know what's behind these doors. Unless they really just loop around, but I doubt it. We'll figure it out later on. What's behind this door? Bash it. Alerted the guards. Okay, I get the feeling we're going to have, like, a guard battle and then a boss battle at the next room. Oh, there's a lot of them. They're just goblins. Actually, no, there's a bunch of goblin leaders. Holy smokes, there's a lot of leaders. Alright, um, Mystic is actually in some danger here. Uh... Nothing good, right. Fella's just cleric. Well, you're gonna hold off the right flank, fella. You're gonna try. Elric, you need to get up here and guard fella. Or, sorry, not... Guard Mystic. I will let you use a spell, though. Holy cow, that's a lot of them. Well, that should take care of a good number. It's just that the goblin leaders have ranged attacks, so they, uh... It can be a problem. Alright, let's start working out here. Now, once Earth Darkness gets a chance, you should be able to see some fun stuff. Uh, let's move down a little bit. Aim manual, and then start killing off uh, sleeping leaders. Yeah, it's those ranged attacks I'm worried about. Okay, Christina. Do I kill this one? Oh, he was sleeping. I could have moved right past him. Oh, well. Anyway, Earth Darkness... Because he's a level 2 fighter, he sweeps. When he's fighting enemies that are a lower level than him, he gets uh, extra attacks, basically, to sweep. Because they're easy to kill. Now, you can still miss, obviously. But, uh... It's pretty awesome. I'm hoping once other people make it to fighter, um, we'll get to take advantage of that all the time. Ooh, oh no, Mystic! Alright, Christina. Yeah, you need to get up here and start helping out. Elric. I'll move you up to help Christina out if I can. There we go. Yeah, double kill! That's what I want to see. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Hold on. Aim manual, not move. <laughs> Alright. Fella is holding the line down there pretty effectively. Excellent. I forgot that guy was sleeping, so we can actually ignore him. Oh, couldn't ignore that one. Oh well, it's better to have uh, all the ranged units engaged in melee, so they can't shoot arrows at our, um, at our mage. I love it. I love sweeping. So good. It's not like playing curling, of course. Maybe sweeping and curling isn't all that exciting. Alright, Alucard, you help out McGubbins down here. We've basically cleared these guys. Earth Darkness, your skills are required down here. Uh, it's double miss. Disappointing. I am disappoint. Alright, they're starting to surrender. Would have been nice to get all those kills, but still. Worked out. Little bit of experience. Little bit of money. Any, uh... Huh. There's a lot of stuff. Uh... I think I've got two castings of Detect Magic ready. Let's use one here. I'm kind of half expecting it to be garbage, but, uh... Let's see. Nothing... Nothing magical. Okay, totally wasted that spell. That's fine. I don't really want to pick up the bows and the arrows and stuff. Let's just go. 
Okay, what were these guys guarding? This large room is apparently empty. Are you sure? You find a loose forblord. <laughs> it was guarded. It was defended and everything. And why would they tell us it was empty? <laughs> Take the treasure. You know me. So this time, what do we get? Uh, uh, about a thousand gold. That's pretty good. And a, sh a probably plus one shield and probably a a uh, basic magic user spell. So I'm going to take, uh, I'll let Mystic of Ba take the magic user scroll. And I'll let, uh, I'll give Christina the shield for now. I'm assuming it's plus one, let's see. So she used to have AC minus one. Switch this for this. And minus two, there you go. The people with the lowest HP are getting the AC for now. So, that was fun. I was expecting more fights down here. Um, so what I want to do is... Read the scroll if I can. Use. So, it's a scroll of magic missile. What this means is... He can either cast magic missile, or I could scribe it and he would learn it permanently. Mystic of Ba already learned magic missile. Magic Mistal. Um, but because we've got a lot of mages, I'll probably give this to, like, one of my multi-class mages, like, uh, maybe the, uh, maybe Alucard or Christina, because, because they are three classes plus mage, they will learn a lot, le le they'll gain a lot less levels. They won't have the opportunity to gain as many magic spells. And I'll let them scribe this in, basically. We'll worry about that later on. And that's it, I think. So... I feel like we're probably done for this trip in the uh, the slums. Catch... Okay. The temple over the river is run by some hotshot orcs. So you do get little, uh, maybe tips and suggestions in here about stuff to do. Um, we haven't been in this room specifically. Anything here? No. But it should just connect up with an area we've already been in. Okay. So, I feel like we've been almost everywhere, except, uh, let me work my way down here. Can I? Oh, this is that. So, on this end, we've actually explored everything. The only other place is way around. Do, do, do. I don't know. How do we get to door? Oh, I just missed it. Sorry. It's easy to miss stuff in this game. Um, on the map, the, the, the way to number 10... Uh, we just haven't worked our way down there. I expect that is something to do with the rope, um, what was it, the rope district or guild or something? That seemed, I expect that'll be where our side quest is. Also, we made it all the way back without any battles. Maybe that means I should go level people up. <laughs> Let's go do that. For the end of the episode, we'll, uh, oh, I should switch the map over too. It's much easier to see around when I do that. Let's go finish our episode with some healthy uh, leveling. So, Fella is a cleric level. Earth is a fighter level. Alucard, I don't actually know. I think it's probably a thief level up. Thieves level up the quickest. Eh, so it's probably a thief level up. Actually, we'll save Alucard for last and I'll go over the multi-class leveling. So anyway, first up is uh, Fella. Assuming we have the money here. Um... 255 platinum times 5 is over a 1,000 gold. So you should be able to afford this. Save A. Do not exit. We sure do want to train. All right, Alucard. Or sorry, fella. You will become a level 3 cleric. Pretty awesome, hey? Congratulations. Uh, how much HP did he gain? I didn't even look. What I'm going to do then, because I'm not paying enough attention, is... At the end of the episode, I will look at the video and see how much he had, and I'll edit it up a little bit. I'll explain it uh, for the next video, basically. Because um, a 1d8 plus 2 for Fella means maximum he could get 10 HP per level up, minimum he could get 3. I don't think he got 10. I think he was at, well... No. Because he's level 3, if his max HP is 10 per level... He's at 28 max out of a perfect score of 30? Is that what that means? I'll have to double check. Because it should just be the same every level up, basically. Uh, no, don't exit. Just 
begin adventuring. It's always funny when you leave that screen, it's begin adventuring rather than um, exit to the, exit to, to, to the uh, game again. Whatever. I'm confused. I just want to level everybody up before we end. No. So this will be fighters. We'll do this one first. Yes, indeed. Oh, I didn't check if you had enough money. Hopefully you have enough money, Earth Darkness. Now, 24 HP. Let's pay attention here. Level up. He now has 35. So he got 11 HP. I'm not going to worry about that. The max for him is a 1d10 plus 4. So 14 HP for level up is the perfect um, for him. He got 11, I think, out of 14. So that's fine. Totally acceptable. I don't want to cheese all the time. It's just, you know, sometimes. Now, this time it's going to be a little different. We do want to train. I'm pretty sure Alucard is a, tra is a thief level up. So, he has 8 HP, a thief level up is a 1d6, that's clerics are 8, mages are 4, thieves are like the second worst. His constitution bonus, there's a couple ways you can calculate it, I don't know how the AD&D first edition for this game works. Let's just see what happens first. He got 4, which doesn't sound like a very good roll to me. But it's actually probably about the max he could get because, um, let's begin adventuring and then view him. The way it's supposed to work, I'm, I'm just trying to make sure I got my calculations right, is whenever you get a level up with multi-class, you roll that class's, the class that leveled up, the thief level up, that's a, a 1d6. You add the constitution bonus to there, which I think for the thief level up is the max of 2. Although the fighter level ups will have a max of 4 because he has a higher... Like, the constitution affects the fighter more than the thief level ups, I think. I, that part I might be incorrect on. You can correct me in the comments if you happen to know. So anyway, you had a 1d6 plus your 2. Then you divide that by your number of classes of 3. And so the max you could get would be 8 divided by 3. Rounded up would be 3. But he got 4 HP. So I'm assuming then that this game gives him the plus 4 constitution bonus like a fighter would so he got a four plus four no sorry a roll of six i i, I forgot a, a, a rogue level or a thief level is plus is a d6 plus four would take him to ten divided by three is nine and a bit but it rounded up to four i don't know maybe i'm confused the point is he got four hp which i i really I know how it's supposed to work in pen and paper, but it doesn't... It seems like 4 HP is unusually high for a thief level up on a triple class. I'm not going to change it. I'm going to say that's fine, even if you could get more HP than that. Um, maybe somebody else knows the exact way that this game does it. Um, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Um, one thing I could show you guys before we wrap up the episode. Even if this is getting a little bit long. I'm not 100% sure. I forgot my timer this time is we'll look at uh, Fella McGubbin's new uh, tier of spells. Now that Fella is a level 3 cleric, he should have access to level 2 magic. Woohoo! So, he could be a snake charmer now, guys. Isn't that awesome? Let's switch over to our uh, book of spells, and I'll go over sort of what they are. For my sake, as well as the new, the new people. So, we'll go way past all that. Where's my spells? Stats. Or is this the wrong book? This might be the wrong book. Sorry. Let's go to the manual. I forget which book has which thing in it. But yeah, the manual seems to have spells. Okay, good. So, we're looking for... We already went over level 1 clerical spells. Level 2 clerical spells. Here we go. Find traps. So, these are our options here. He already knows them all, basically. Must be cast in camp. Pretty much does what you expect. I don't know if this is ever going to matter in this game. A lot of it depends on which game you're playing as to whether or not that's going to be a thing. Hold person is actually pretty darn good. You can pick up to three enemies to basically force them to be helpless. Just like sleep. Except it tends to work on higher enemy levels than sleep does. Sleep is only good against really weak characters. Hold person is a lot better. It only works on humanoids, so if you're fighting a spider, it will not work at all. So that's its drawback, but it, and it doesn't hit as many targets, but uh, it's good. 
Resist fire is similar to resist cold. Um, I think fire attacks are more common than ice attacks. Fireball, fire breath, burning hands, blah, blah, blah. So this is the kind of thing you might want. Silence should make it so enemy mages can't cast. I don't think I'm ever going to use this though because it's a radius spell. I guess you could cast it long range on an enemy target and anyone near them in a circle wouldn't be able to cast it. I don't know. Maybe it's good. I, I don't know. Slow poison. Uh, one of the things about these old D&D games is curing poison is really difficult. It's a... Uh, I don't even know if we get it at level 3. It's probably a level 4 spell. Um, I don't see it here in the level 3 list. There's cure, cure disease, but there's no cure poison. So, if someone gets poisoned, there's almost nothing we can do about it until you go back to a, uh, a uh, temple. So, this would reduce the amount of damage you'll take from the poison per turn. Um, I'm pretty sure that's how it's supposed to work. Revives a poison person for one hour per level. Yeah. Anyway, we're almost through. The target of the spell then dies as in rolls. No. No, no, that is die. Revives. Okay, so if you're poisoned... I don't understand it. Point is, it's hard to cure it. Slow poison at least gives you a chance. Snake charm. Um, there's a couple... During the gold box games, there's a couple scenarios where people summon snakes on you. And this is a, a special spell that could work. Or if you're fighting enemy snakes, um, you can actually charm them as though a, a charm person spell would... I don't know. Again, that's not the kind of spell I'm going to use a lot. And then finally, Spiritual Hammer um, replaces your normal weapon um, and does hammer damage at range. That's specifically what's good. And it can hit enemies. Yeah, like I was saying before an episode or two ago, some enemies you require plus one or better weapons. A Spiritual Hammer is one of the ways to get around that. As far as level 2 clerical spells, most of the time we're going to want hold person. Almost always. Maybe a slow poison if you're worried about that. Let's switch back over. So we start with uh, three possible um, second level spells. We'll pick two hold person and one... Uh, we've actually already got a magical flail. Now the spiritual hammer is long range, but... Uh, I'll try Silence out. We haven't seen any enemy spellcasters yet. I'll want to have that for emergencies. And then um, we have one more first level spell as well. So currently we have a Bless, two Cure Light Wounds, and a Detect Magic. Um, let's go with three Cure Light Wounds for now. And then we'll start adding in more Detects and Blesses and stuff. So... You know, Fella McGubbins, he's starting to get a good amount of magic there. That's pretty awesome. And I think the rest of the team is basically ready to go for magic. Oh, no, I did cast a sleep there. Uh, yep. And no sleeps there. Okay. Rest. Rest. Uh, now that we're learning level 2 spells, the rest time is going to be increased. And I suppose the last thing we should do before we end here is now that we've uh, picked this magic missile up, let's give this to... Um, Let's give it to Alucard, and uh, Alucard is a fighter mage thief, so his mage level will be one of the weakest in the team. Christina is a fighter mage cleric, so she will at least have clerical spells to balance it out. But Alucard will probably have the least amount of magic of all the magic -y. Basically, other than Earth Darkness, Alucard will have the least amount of magic. So what we'll do with him is try to scribe magic missile... There's actually possibly a chance to fail that, depending on their intelligence. Scribe these spells. It takes four hours. Looks like he successfully scribed it. So now he's learned Magic Missile. There you go. So, everything's good, right? Um, I'll use my Encamp fix to auto-heal everybody up quickly. And uh, that's it. Everyone's healed up. Okay, I think that's it for this episode. I will double check um, how much HP Fella and Mystic got, um, just in case I missed something. I won't worry about re-rolling it every time or, or necessarily, but the first couple levels from level 1 to 2 and 3, because you're basically doubling or tripling your HP if you get good rolls, I kind of will for a little bit. 
after we're all level 5 or 6, it doesn't matter too much. You're talking about if you had perfect rolls, you'd have 60 HP. If you had decent rolls, you'd have 40 or 50. It's, 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 an, it's a difference, but it's not the end of the world. Anyway, uh, that's all for now. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. Next episode, we'll try to figure out how to get to, I believe, the old rope guild or whatever it was called. And we'll see how that goes. I'll also, um, I forgot to mention, I will uh, pay to identify all that stuff off camera just to save some time. So I'll go over all that for you guys next time. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you have enjoyed and have a great day.